Now to the countdown to Iowa and the legal troubles hanging over Donald Trump, the New York civil fraud case threatening his business empire. It's all now in the judge's hands. After yesterday's closing arguments, Trump unexpectedly speaking out in his own defense. We have two reports. We're going to start with NBC's senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett, who was actually in the courtroom. Laura, you were right there when it happened. How I did was, it go down? You know, there have been a lot of surreal firsts in covering all of the legal issues surrounding the former president. But this, I got to tell you, uh, was different. He was not yelling, but he laced into the judge, the attorney general. He said he's an innocent man. The gallery is packed. Really, the room changed as soon as we realized, oh, he's actually about to speak. Because remember, the judge had initially said he doesn't get to speak because he was worried he wouldn't stay on topic and he would disparage everybody, which he did. But I think the judge didn't want to create an issue on appeal. And so he said, okay, he can have his five minutes. But then at a certain point, he said, look, you got to control your client because mm -hmm. he's off the rails. What about the legal case? As we know, the, the, the main claims of fraud have already been determined that the, yeah. the Trump and the Trump organizations is liable for that. It's largely a question of penalty. But there are other defendants in the case, and I know you had some observations about there could be surprises in the judge's ruling it, here. Yeah, you know, I think there's sort of been this assumption by Team Trump that the judge has already sort of decided what he's going to do here. But the judge was actually peppering the state attorney general's office about some of the individual defendants, including the sons. And I would not be surprised if Don Jr. in particular is not found liable in this case because there just isn't as much evidence sort of attaching him and what he knew to the false financial statements as there is to Eric Trump. And so I would be, I would be not surprised if we see him actually not found liable by this judge. To say it again, this is a bench trial. The judge yeah. decides everything. There everything. is no jury. We do expect a written decision, I presume, in, in the coming and weeks. And he's got to have already started writing it, Savannah, because he said, I'm going to have my decision by the end of this month. It's a huge case, three-month trial. You don't write that in two weeks. He must have already started, but he says he's aiming for the end of the month. All, All right. right. Thank yeah. you, Laura. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.